Bullshit. Pretend for a moment we've entered a parallel universe, free of bullshit and full of bold solutions. That's what the No BS Marketing Show is all about. I'm your host, Dave Mastovich. Today's show is part two of excerpts from my presentation at Indiana University of Pennsylvania's Business Day event at the Kowalczyk Convention Center, attended by hundreds of IUP juniors and seniors. My goal was to help attendees understand the importance of managing their online presence and leveraging what's readily available to them, pretty much for free. I emphasize that they're the CEO of Me Incorporated because they control what others see and read about them to a large degree, and they need to creatively tell their story online, particularly through LinkedIn. I hope you enjoy hearing the ideas. It was a great time, and the positive energy from the audience was contagious. With LinkedIn, you're the CEO of LinkedIn for you. You control what's up there. So you have to be you. I see about 10, 15 people have taken my classes and they've heard this. Nobody can out you, you. I've lost her already. Nobody can out you, you. So be the best you. Tell your story in your way. Because it's about storytelling. Now show of hands, how many of you know who Gary V is? That's not enough. It's not enough. Gary V is me on steroids, Red Bull, two espressos, and a caramel macchiato. That's Gary V. He is intense, brilliant. He doesn't have to be the only one, but you have to be listening to thought leaders in storytelling, thought leaders in marketing, thought leaders in business. You need to be listening to those people. What Gary Vee talks about is today, it's about attention and influence. In our era, it was about selling and telling. Selling and telling. And I look out in this crowd, and part of my story, why I'm here today, is people like Ellen Ruddick, who, when I was your age, and I was working at the local radio station, she took me under her wing and taught me a lot about selling, business. And that's why I give back. I see Krish, who was a mentor of mine as well. But you have to tell your story in a way that resonates. That should resonate with you. So I'm telling you my story, a piece of it that resonates with you, because you were there, you're there now, and I was there. But back to Gary Vee, he talks about attention and influence. Attention and influence. So you have to tell your story in a passionate way that creates attention so that you can land the influence at the company you're looking for. And LinkedIn is a big piece of that. Think about that profile picture first. Six seconds and one-tenth of a second, they've already made their judgment. So get a profile picture that's you, not fake. In other words, if you don't wear a suit and you're uncomfortable in a suit, but you're worried, I need to put a tie on for my LinkedIn profile, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe you still wear a coat, whatever. But get a profile picture that works. Start writing about your passions so that you can gather attention and influence. And start listening to thought leaders like Gary Vee. Start listening to podcasts because that's all about storytelling and it plays to your strengths. It plays to your strengths. You want things quick and easy. Podcasts give you that on your phone. Listen to your thought leaders while you're doing something else so you're able to benefit from that. When you look at LinkedIn, you need to be able to make sure that you get that little rock star status. Has anybody seen that? How close you get to the rock star status of your profile? Nobody's, nobody's even nodding. Anybody done their LinkedIn profile pretty well? My man in the back. Are you at rock star status? Send me a connection request. You'll be number 10,212. I haven't checked lately, but we'll get you in there. Who else has done there as well? Great. Great. It's uh, when you start building your profile, it shows you how far along you've got. And it takes you maybe 20 minutes to get to rock star status if you're good at telling your story. 
So you're going to tell your story by talking about the associations you've been in here, the clubs you've been in here, the classes you've been in, the other passions, the social interests that you have. You're going to join some groups on LinkedIn and talk about that. You're going to put your part-time jobs. And you're going to be comfortable with that because it shows us that you cared enough to do something. Whatever that job was, put it on there. Those jobs change your life. WDA, they changed mine. You're the CEO of Me, Inc., and that's what you have to do with your LinkedIn profile. Another thing you have to do is firm up your connections here, right now, before you leave. How many of you have Krish's information? How many of you connected with Krish online? From ours, all three of us, all the other people in the room, each of you that knows each other, if you've got to know each other and you're future leaders, you're involved in things here, you need to build those relationships and get the information now. Because in a month, you're not going to have the access to us. So today, you should be coming up and asking us for business cards. And I only have like 12 left. So the first 12. But you can find me. You can Google it. You can all find me. You can all find me. And that's the other thing. You have to do that kind of hard work. Like I laughed. I was telling somebody, well, just email them. I was telling kind of like, just, just email these people. And she's vice president of marketing. She said, ah, I don't have their email addresses. I said, well, get them. Go online and get them. Like Commonwealth Health Systems, their first <laughs> initial and their last name. So I know when I need to reach Amy Bradley, it's A Bradley at Commonwealth Health System. I know where Commonwealth Health System, the last part is because I Google Commonwealth and it shows me their website's commonwealthhealthsystem.org. Then I go and I find somebody that I know their email, I get one. Now I can get any employees. It's not hard. So you can get mine real easy. You can get Susie's, you can get Bob's. What you need to do is shore that up right now. Do your job. That's your job right now. Your job is to build a network and to get a job that's part of a career. So here's something that whoever finds me and reaches out, I'll give them this free uh, thing that Bob's going to say. Well, that's really primitive compared to what Salesforce can do, and he's right. But what I want to do is I want to get you started. I want to get you doing something with your personal connections. So this is your personal connections Trello template. And what it is, is you'll put Cindy Street Matter in there. You'll put Kara Romance in there. You'll put Dean Camp in there. You'll put From Ours in there. And you'll then decide when your touches are. And your touch is any way that you can follow up with me since you're going to get an A in my class, right? He's getting an A in my class, so he's going to follow up with me. I know someone that always follows up with me over there, Nikki. So that's what you should do. And you're going to have your personal connections Trello template if you find out my email and if you reach out to me and if you maybe subscribe to the podcast. No beep marketing. And then you're going to put in your touches so that you've got each of the people that you have here and each other. You are leaders if you're here today. I asked my class last night how many were coming here, only about a third. Great. For the third of you that are here, you're going to kick the rest of their asses. All right? Because you're committed to your career. Take that as an awesome thing. I loved it when I did stuff that other people don't want to do. Because one of the key pillars of success is doing stuff that you don't like and others don't want to do. Doing stuff you don't want to do and that others don't want to do. You nail some of that and you make yourself pretty valuable. So this is the personal connections uh, Trello template. Email me, I'll get it to you. You need to shore up your connections right now because you only have a little bit of time left. And then what you have to do is leverage your social, the, leverage social media, your presence and the presence of whoever you're looking at. Cultures are different. Mike Tomlin's culture, very different from Bill Belichick's culture. Mass Solutions culture, very different from uh, H2R CPA is a client of ours, a great accounting firm. Completely different cultures. When you're looking for jobs, you need to leverage social media to get a sense of what the culture is like. Because remember, no one can out you you. You have to be the best you 
So if you look up a company and it doesn't seem like you get a good vibe from it, you have to really think long and hard about how much effort you put into landing that job over the one, two, three, or five that you find that match you. And trust me, you can know a culture of a company by looking at what they post, by looking at their executives' LinkedIn, by walking in the building. Trust me, walk in the building of where you're interviewing before the interview. If you don't get a feel, something's up. Because most of us as humans get a feel as soon as we walk into a place. And it's different for each of us. You have to leverage social media so you can find out as much as you can about that culture of where you're thinking of working. And then you're even going to walk in the door and get a sense. And then when you walk into the interview, you're going to get a sense. Some places will have you go sit somewhere and someone will come get you. And they'll walk you over and they'll have a tag for your, that you have to put a sticky tag of your face that they took a picture of. That's telling me it's a pretty formal culture. If that's what you like, cool. If not, that might not be a fit for you. So you can use all of this to leverage the situation so you have a better understanding of the company when you come into the interview and you even rule out some companies. Because you want to get a place where you can be you. Because no one can out you, you. The No BS Show is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash no BS. Try a book like LinkedIn, 50 Powerful Strategies for Mastering Your Online Resume by Jonathan A. Eagle. It's great for recent college grads or people early in their career, so it's timely for today's episode. And it takes only 58 minutes to listen to the whole thing. You can download it for free today. Go to audibletrial.com slash no BS. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash no BS for your free audio book. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Thanks for joining us for the No BS Marketing Show. Visit massolutions.biz slash bold solutions for show notes plus additional marketing and messaging resources. Are you signed up for light reading? You'll receive timely, valuable ideas to improve your marketing and transform your message. It really is light, intended to be read in two minutes or less, and it just might trigger bright ideas for you. To sign up, visit massolutions.biz. Remember, ask yourself, what's the big idea? and build your story around the answer. It's all about bold solutions.